IGN's Top 100 Games list encompasses the best of the best throughout history, spanning generations of consoles, PCs, handhelds, and more. Our list last saw a major update back in 2019, and since then, there have been several games released that deserved to be added. And just as importantly, we looked at the totality of the Top 100 as it stood and asked ourselves a few key questions, leading to some beloved games being dropped off and other games we previously missed being added to the ranking. Games added to our top 100 have to measure up to a few key metrics. How great a game it was when it launched, how fun it is to still play today, and how much any given game reflects the best in its class. While past versions of this list have put a big emphasis on a game's impact and influence, we've essentially taken that out of the equation, as many games that left a mark and inspired future developers and franchises may not stand the test of time and be all that fun to play right now. Or quite Quite simply, they may have been surpassed by other games. You can head to IGN to check out the full list in exhaustive detail. And we encourage you to check it all out for more context. But with all of that said, IGN's list reflects the current staff's opinions of what are the 100 best games of all time. A collection of games that have continued to captivate us with their stories, wow us with their revelatory approach to game design, and set the standards for the rest of the industry. Here are the top 10 of that list. Hello, officer. There's nothing else quite like Disco Elysium. Here's the premise. A body has been discovered hanged from a looming tree in the backyard of a hostel, and it's up to you to work out how it got there over the course of Disco's mesmerizing 30-hour story. That story offers one unlike any other RPG on our list, a unique blend of noir detective fiction, storytelling methods born from traditional pen and paper RPGs, and a large helping of existentialist theory. Its twisting plot, cast of weirdo characters, and sheer depth of choice combine to create an experience that begs to be savored. Those choices are ones based entirely around how your character responds to a situation, rather than traditional combat choices or binary good and bad dialogue options from other RPGs. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. Somehow, it manages to make all of this fun and, surprisingly often, funny. Disco Elysium quickly reveals itself to be more than a simple whodunit. Instead, it's a journey that will challenge you to solve crises on both profoundly personal and societal levels. A gorgeously designed isometric RPG that makes you think at every turn of its richly detailed streets, Disco Elysium is a truly unique experience. Disco Elysium is one of the most unique and memorable RPGs of all time, but it's by no means the only one to hit our overall list. From JRPG landmarks like Final Fantasy VII, to some of the best modern ones like Divinity Original Sin 2, which capture the essence of tabletop RPGs, role-playing games appear sporadically throughout IGN's Top 100. It's one of the most popular genres in gaming, with one of the longest-running lineages, and our picks hope to exemplify the very best of RPG. The same goes for our picks in another classic genre with a three-letter acronym that has seen more than its fair share of reinventions, first-person shooters. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Half-Life 2 forever changed our expectations for what a first-person shooter could be. Its richly imagined world and wonderfully paced gameplay is a delight, never letting up and brimming with invention. The gravity gun is obviously the poster child, turning each environment into a tactile playground in which you can create improvised weapons and solve basic but clever physics puzzles. And its importance can't be overstated, but there's an awful lot more here. We're introduced to Alex Vance, a supporting character with a rare warmth and intelligence. We're transported to an iconic city where combine barricades loom with grim authority, and striders stalk the streets with an otherworldly menace. We get to set ant lions on our enemies, and play fetch with a robot dog. In short, it's a truly memorable piece of game design. Good doggy. 
Many fantastic shooters have been released since Valve's Half-Life 2, but there's a reason the world has continued to hope for a Half-Life 3. And it's not just the story cliffhangers its episodic follow-ups left us with. But okay, they're a big reason why too. Half-Life 2, even more so than other revolutionary older and recent first-person games like System Shock 2 or Titanfall 2, captivated us with its world and combat design that worked hand-in-hand -hand to give the players incredible agency. And speaking of player agency, a recent sequel changed the game for what we thought possible in breadth, depth, and detail of an open world rooted in its stirring story. Ain't no such thing as civilized. A sprawling western that stands shoulder to shoulder with Grand Theft Auto V is one of gaming's greatest open world achievements. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game of rare scope and even rarer quality. A beautiful ode to an ugly era, RDR2 combines Rockstar's most authentic and lived-in open world ever with its most earnest storytelling to date, filling in the gaps with an astonishing array of deep systems and nearly endless emergent gameplay opportunities. Its slower pace allows us to binge on the world like a virtual museum. But when the lead starts flying, it puts the wild back in the west and then some. Few games manage the level of uncompromising detail as Red Dead Redemption 2 does. Do we need to discuss the horse balls again? We definitely don't need to discuss that particular detail again, but that's not a problem when there's simply so much to discuss about Rockstar's ambitious sequel, a game so packed to the brim, and not just the well-detailed brims of Red Dead 2's many beautiful hats. Speaking of hats, our top 100 has some notable headwear throughout our many picks, and yes, we did just use hats as a segue. Sometimes hats functionally change the way we interact with the worlds in which we play. And there's one particular 3D platformer that not only changed the game overall, but had some pretty stellar caps to boot. Mario games are synonymous with fun and innovation, and perhaps Mario 64 is the best example of the latter. It gathered the core elements of Mario's best 2D side-scrolling adventures and worked out how to translate them into a groundbreaking 3D world. It was still recognizably Mario, he collected mushrooms and ran and jumped his way to success, but he was forever changed. He could now long jump, triple jump, and backflip. While the underlying challenge remained the same and the locations were reassuringly familiar, the shift in perspective changed everything. What's even more impressive is that Mario did not simply enter a new dimension with ease, he did it with style that few games unburdened with such technical challenges ever achieve. Mario 64 might now look a little blocky, but it remains bold and brilliant too. Okay, so maybe we oversold the hat thing a bit, but there's no denying that Nintendo not only broke the mold for what players expected from 3D platformers, but also created one that has endured the test of time and remains one of gaming's very best. That's certainly true of a number of entries on our list, like another Nintendo classic, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, or the stealth-centered masterpiece, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, or perhaps the peak of strategy gaming, XCOM 2. Gaming history is filled with masterpieces that represent the best in class for their given genres, for their artistic merits, and for their storytelling. The next entry in our top 10 certainly checks all three boxes, but it's perhaps best known for the incredible way its developers tackled story and player choice. Where Mass Effect set the stage for a futuristic Milky Way, Mass Effect 2 let you explore and experience so much more of it. 
As Commander Shepard, we traveled the galaxy on the best recruitment trip ever, and experienced possibly one of the most heart-wrenching stories. But whether or not the game ends in tears is entirely up to you. As you head out for a suicide mission, you'll meet some of the best written characters that feel original and have the power to evoke true emotions. Perhaps one of the best parts about earning the loyalty of each of the companions was discovering more about their respective species and seeing how they're surviving in a violent galaxy. Maximum loyalty for my companions in Mass Effect 2 was not an option. For my heart's own good, it was a requirement. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. Mass Effect 2 mined the personal depths of its characters to incredible success, bringing the sort of introspective, character-focused storytelling we expect from prestige TV series, but that gives the player autonomy in a way no show or movie could. That's true of how other games have tackled the genre staples of film and television, but given them interactive twists, like the action blockbuster Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. That layer of interactivity and exploration is often given unique depth, by almost every game on our list, and sometimes literally, like exploring the beautiful bug-filled labyrinth of Hollow Knight's underworld. And speaking of venturing down into the dark recesses of an unknown world, the next game on our list is perhaps the standard bearer for just that type of adventure. Super Metroid's minimalistic environmental storytelling set a bar way back in 1994 that we believe has still yet to be eclipsed. The planet Zebes is atmospheric, oppressive, and extremely lethal. At first glance, there doesn't even appear to be any story. But then, you start to look more closely. The parasite-riddled dead soldier outside of an early boss room, the crashed, half-submerged alien spaceship that may or may not be haunted, the techno lair of the space pirates hiding under your nose the entire game. It's brilliant and confident. It doesn't explain to you what each new area is all about. It's all there for you to figure out or ignore on your own. But it's Super Metroid's ability to consistently invite the player to be curious and then reward that curiosity that makes it one of the greatest video games ever made. It's not just that there are secrets hidden everywhere, although there are and it's awesome, it's that the game teases you with tantalizing clues. Items always just out of reach, an energy tank embedded in a seemingly impassable wall, a pair of missiles only obtainable from collapsing blocks above, leaving you no idea of how to get up there just with the knowledge that you can get up there. Super Metroid is an impeccable action platformer. That's the easy part. What makes it truly special is its genius combination of puzzle solving, atmosphere, storytelling, exploration, game design, and gameplay. Our top 100 list has plenty of modern selections on it, but classic games continue to provide so much enduring fun and discovery. Whether they be other Nintendo hallmarks like Pokemon Yellow, pick red or blue if you prefer, but having Pikachu follow you around was a game changer for us, or classic JRPGs like the last 2D Final Fantasy, FF6. That remains true of the next pick in our top 10, and though it's not the last time you'll see this franchise before the list is done, it's certainly one of the best examples of how Nintendo defined gaming for decades to follow, while making games that are still so fun to play to this day. The Legend of Zelda and the Adventure of Link laid the foundations for Link's quest, but it was a link to the past that built the land of Hyrule into a world. From its unforgettable beginnings guiding a swordless Link through the rain, to the final showdown with Ganon and utilizing mastery of sword and bow to defeat evil, Link to the Past measured out a perfect pace of dungeons, exploration, and a gripping narrative that was almost unheard of at the time. Its open landscape was always inviting but never felt aimless, striking the perfect balance of freedom and purpose in your quest to save Princess Zelda. This iteration of Hyrule was more than just moving between 
between enemy-filled screens. It encompassed everything an immersive experience should be. A vast open world that teased you with secrets hiding just beyond your reach, begging you to come back with new and inventive tools. Each zone, whether in the cheerful overworld, dimly lit caves, or the intimidating dark world, was brought to life through a culmination of details, like the sound of the tempered sword cleaving the air, the catchy jingle of a puzzle well solved, and the ambient tunes of Koji Kondo's score. This version of Hyrule, more than any other before or since, is the one we most fell in love with. Unsurprisingly, A Link to the Past isn't the only entry in the series to appear on our list, as The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is one of several adventures of Link, or Zelda for the confused, to make it to IGN's Top 100. And it's not the only series to be represented several times. Red Dead Redemption 1 is also on the list, in addition to its sequel cracking our Top 10, while both Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 2 made it into our Top 100. The next entry in our Top 10 is a sequel whose predecessor is found a little lower on the list, but we'll explain why we think the follow-up surpassed both the first game and so many others to earn our number Number three spot. Oh good. There you are. Portal undoubtedly came out of nowhere and shattered the mold. But Portal 2 took that raw and incredible concept and managed to shape it into an even more polished and impressive package. It cranked the dials up on just about everything that made the original so special. The mind-bending puzzles, the surprisingly dark story, and the ridiculous humor that balanced it all out. Each piece of the picture was refined and refreshed to build a sequel that actually surpassed the ambition of an already ambitious game making something both familiar and altogether new. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. It gave us a deeper look into the wonderful world of aperture science without completely dragging all of its mysteries out into the light. It also mixed its thinking with Portal's puzzles up even further by weaving in gel mechanics that felt entirely fresh and completely natural at the same time, while simultaneously and subtly using them to tie gameplay mechanics into the story, patiently waiting until its incredible finale to pay off those setups with one of the weirdest, most spectacular video game endings around. Couple that with a seriously good co-op campaign and even a full-on custom level builder and sharing systems added post-launch, and Portal 2 has stayed the high bar by which all first-person puzzle games should be measured, even nearly a decade later. Portal 2 redefined not only our expectations of what Portal could be, but first-person stories in general. We've seen other games like Half-Life Alex also push the boundaries of first-person adventures, while others like Doom cemented what first-person shooters could be. Our top 100 list is filled with defining games, whether they be redefinitions of existing franchises like 2018's God of War, or games that define characters, genres, and companies like the original Super Mario Brothers. And while Mario has already appeared once on this list, he's got one last spot to define as his own. Super Mario World is a relatively simple game to describe. It's a Super Mario game, and we all know what that means. Mushrooms, perfect running and jumping action, and a giant world to explore crammed with secrets. But what sets Super Mario World apart from other 2D Mario games is its irresistible complexity. Subsequent Super Mario games, like the new Super Mario Bros. series, simplified the overworld, trading Super Mario World's cool hidden paths for linear tracks, and largely abandoned the skies and treetops of Super Mario World's vertical levels for ground-based obstacle courses. Plus, they did away with flying almost entirely. Capes rule, helicopter hats drool. Super Mario World is the crescendo to the slow build in technology and game design that started with Super Mario Brothers, and that crescendo featured a cool simulated 90s slap bass track. It's worth noting that Super Mario World 
topped our top 100 list for many years, only to be supplanted in this latest iteration. We previously noted that for a game to overtake Super Mario World, it would have to be, quote, puzzling but not opaque, tough but not intimidating, beautiful, funny, joyful, and universally recognizable. Like Super Mario World, our number one game is all of those things. And perhaps what it does best of all is create a world so encouraging of exploration, experimentation, and discovery that it has changed the way we've thought about games ever since its release. More so than other classics on this list that similarly delivered on creating some of gaming's best worlds, like The Rapture of Bioshock, Yarnum of Bloodborne, or The Continent of The Witcher 3, our last game in this countdown broke down the always climbable walls of what games can be and let players out into the wild for a breath of fresh air that reconceptualized its franchise. And if you still couldn't get it after that heavy-handed pun, here comes IGN's number one game of all time. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild eschewed the semi-linear, borderline predictable path of the 3D Zelda games before it in favor of a bold, crazy new approach. Let players do what they want, how they want, and in whatever order they decide. By marrying an open-ended approach to quest structure with the ability to freely explore a vast, beautiful, intriguing world with little specific regulation, the 3D Zelda game template was shattered about as fast as the average breakable weapon in Breath of the Wild. The result is a gorgeous, freeing, open-world action-adventure experience that evokes the wonder and fear of exploring a bold new place with the empowering tangibility of becoming its hero. And that's our list. We ventured through decades of gaming greats, saw the birth and redefinition of many major gaming stalwarts, and experienced revolutionary gameplay experiences throughout. We hope you've enjoyed this peek at our top 10 games of all time, and encourage you to head over to IGN to see our full top 100 games of all time list. Of course, whittling down a list like this is no easy task, and it's very possible that, even with 100 games covered, your favorites may not have made it. So let us know in the comments what games you think deserve a spot on or at the top of our list. And for everything else in video game greatness, you're already in the right place. IGN.